This Saturday, Indy Honor Flight is flying 178 Indiana veterans to see the war memorial in Washington, D.C. That is truly always so emotional. The flight's finally full after a successful social media campaign over the summer. As the now's Mike Pelton shows us, it's a trip not measured in the number of families or miles traveled, rather on the number of people who risked their lives for all of us. Here at Indy Honor Flight, 178 veterans are gearing up for a one-day trip to D.C. on Saturday. It's a trip that's been a lifetime in the making. A picture when I uh, went to the uh, Air Force. Called the Air Corps back then, Sergeant Ray Dixon first enlisted in 1946 when he was just 15 and underage. The military eventually found out he re-enlisted in the Army when he turned 18. And I spent nearly three years in Italy. Dixon served during the back end of World War II, and Saturday we'll see the World War II Memorial in Washington, D.C. for the first time. I want to go to the walls, and it's not just one of them, because like I say, I had fellows that was in World War II, and uh, I, I could name a half a dozen of them that didn't come back. Just one of these things, you know, before I die, I wanted to see it. The trip is put on by Indy Honor Flight. What we see while we're there, of course, is the World War II Memorial, the Lincoln, Vietnam, and Korean Memorials. Grant Thompson with Indy Honor Flight tells me two planes will fly 178 veterans. This is their memorial in our nation's capital that says thank you for saving the world. The memories and pictures come in black and white. Dixon, though, says you never forget those you enlisted with. I'll be in a very revered company and a place. It's, it's, it's hallowed to me, really. It's hallowed. It's sacred. And if you would like to come out and thank one of these veterans, they are having a welcome home party that Saturday night at 8 o'clock at Plainfield High School. In Mooresville this afternoon, Mike Pelton for the Now Indy.